You probably wouldn't be on the coast of Croatia right now. No, I for sure wouldn't be on the coast of Croatia right now if it wasn't for fucking hip hop. What up, y'all? It's Joey Badass. And it's Static Selected, man. Show off. Beast Coast. And we out here in Croatia. What do you think the biggest misconception about you is? About myself? You know what I think the biggest misconception about me is. What is it? How I can only make 90 sounding music, you know? Cuz, I do real shit, that's it. I do what I feel in my heart. I can do anything. I can do trap shit. I can do what you guys call like the media, the, the SIPs and the SITs, the stupid internet trolls and people, you know what I'm saying? Like what you guys call classic hip hop. People just haven't experienced like real lyricism over like real soulful beats since the 90s. So they don't have anything else or any other way to identify real hip hop or real music, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, every review says that, oh, if you want a, a throwback vintage sound and pick up Joey Badass's new album and it's like, it just makes people like sleep on it because it's like, what? Like, you telling me that this guy is trying to be like the 90s? All right, I already got 90s. I don't want to listen to this to shit. You could spend two years working on an album and like they write four sentences that turn off everybody that read it to your album. And they don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They grew up listening to like fucking, I don't even know what the fuck they grew up listening to. Not hip hop though. You should have to go through like a IQ, not an IQ test, but like a music IQ test to be able to write for. Nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Like yo, these, a lot of these publications, man, they need to. Chin check. Yeah. I mean, but it's the same thing, same thing you said with these fucking uh, publications and these critics is the same thing for like the police dist um, departments and yeah. shit. Yeah. A lot of know, these cops are just... These people need IQ tests to prove that they're worthy of like, you know, protecting and serving the people and fucking giving good reviews on good music. You ever got starstruck? I know you got starstruck a couple of times in your life. Yo, know, the only time... Back in the day. Ever. Nah, the only time really ever I ever like was like nervous or something is my man introduced me to uh, Jay-Z and I'm like I'm literally one of the biggest Jay-Z fans in the world when I first met Jay was I starstruck it was, it was just mad funny because I was 17 and and when I was first going to meet him like I remember like that moment when I was in the elevator going up to his office like just got past security and now I'm in the elevator and all I remember was think, thinking was like damn my whole life I've worked so hard just for this moment right here to be recognized by Jay-Z, like, you know what I'm saying? For, to be called in for a meeting with Jay, you know what I'm saying? And like, when I walked into this office, his office was massive, first of all, and he was just sitting behind his desk, but he had his back turned. And then, so like, I walked in, and it's like, I'm looking at him, but he doesn't see me yet, you know? So it's just like, oh, shit. Like, this is Jay, and I'm with my mom, and I'm with um, Shipes, my manager, and, I can't believe it. And then like, you know, he turned around and he's like, welcome, like, you know, sit down. But when I meet older artists, like I met TLC and stuff like that, Erica Badu, you know, people like that are more starstruck for because I, I was listening to them when I was a baby, you know? So me and my mom listened to them religiously. So like, you know, to come meet them now and me, be, me doing my own thing is like, oh shit, like, fuck. How do we meet? How do we meet? Um, you met nowhere. At your crib, at the old show of basement. I used to bug out because like, you know, everybody's drinking and smoking. It's like, and then all of a sudden Joey comes over and I think he was 17. Yeah, he was 17. I'm like, what the hell's going on in my crib? He came through to have me do some scratches and that was it. And we ended up knocking out a joint in like 20 minutes. He was like, hold on motherfucker, you gonna listen to these beats. And then he played some shit and we knocked that shit out right away. But it wasn't like, Oh, I like that one. Send it to me. It was like, no, turn the mic on, and the joint got done. Yeah, it was. It's, it's don't front. It's actually on my 1999 project. We did that literally in like five, ten minutes. One of my favorite uh, experiences in the studio was with Capital Steve's. He um, he was just in the corner, sitting on the floor, like mad quiet the whole time. And I played the uh, the beat for Like Water, and he was like, Yo, I got something. Put on the mic, and he just came through, spit the thing, spit in one verse, one thing. and it just. It was like that verse was written for that beat. I've watched these pull off shit like that like numerous times. Like that night we was in the studio, like that was regular. To you, like, you know, that was something new. And I like, wasn't new, I've seen people do it. It's just like, 
I just wasn't ready for that. Like, I was impressed because it's not like, you know, we're talking about I'm dealing with kids literally at the time. Everybody was 17, 18 years old. And I'm like, wow. Because, you know, I've seen, like, dudes like Freeway and Styles P and the legends do it. But to see someone that you've never worked with just, just snap like that. I remember one night, I didn't even know Joey was coming over. And he jumped over. I had, like, this back porch. All of a sudden, I hear a knock on the door. He, like, jumped over the fence. I'm the only one who came to his back door, by the way. The only person. <laughs> and I opened the door, and he's like, yo, I wrote to that beat. You ready? And we pressed record, and it was Curry Chicken, one take. And that ended up being, like, a crazy record. That's one of my favorite songs we've done. Thank you, Noisy. Shout out to Noisy Vice. You know I used to do street team for uh, Vice magazine. I used to bring them to all the stores in Boston.